What's good everybody? Welcome to 5 Minute Fridays. This is a series I created to help video creators get better at creating videos just by taking 5 minutes out of their day. That's all. I'm not asking for much. You're going to scroll on Instagram anyway. You might as well just... Alright, it might be too much. Let's get to it. So today we're going to be talking about workflow. Your workflow as a video creator is going to define your success. It's going to determine whether a video takes 3 to 4 hours to edit or 12 to 13 hours. Now mind you, of course you're going to have videos that's going to take days and weeks or maybe sometimes even months that you're working on uh, depending on how big of the project. But I'm referring to short, quick videos like your music videos, YouTube videos, event recaps, things of that nature that shouldn't take as long. So now we're going to talk about your editing software. This is going to be very important to pick out a good editing software because you're going to spend most of your time in there getting your color grading correct, getting your timeline correct, making sure your audio is good, um, making sure that final product is ready to go for your client or for YouTube or social media, wherever you're posting it. So I'm going to talk about Adobe Premiere Pro because that is the video editing software that I chose to use. Only because it came with a few other apps that I could use as well. Adobe After Effects and Media Encoder are very helpful in my workflow process. Um, because when I'm done with Premiere Pro, if I want to add special effects or I want to add some different type of effects to my video, I can send that straight to After Effects seamlessly without, you know, um, spending too much time exporting and trying to upload it and import it over. It's just seamless. They all work together. And Media Encoder is very helpful for exporting the file while I'm still working on another project right after that. So I don't have to spend time waiting for my file to export out of the program. So now that we talked about software a little bit, I'm going to get straight into the important part that you are probably here to see, um, and that is the actual video editing process. So let's jump into it. Okay, so now we're here on the desktop, and one thing I want to make note of are the two hard drives that I have here. This is where I upload all my footage to. Um, if you look, I have my music videos uh, sorted by artists and song title. So today I'm going to show you guys a project that I worked on with King Feet, dope artist here in the DMV. Got to check the video out. Put the link in the description. Uh, if you look here on this timeline, you can see that um, it looks like Tetris. I know everything is everywhere and it just looks scattered and crazy, but it didn't start off this way. Um, when I first started working on this project, it looked something like this. It just had the footage stock on, stacked on top of each other. And I would scrub through and uh, let the let the footage play. Um, and if I like the scene, I'll keep it. If not, I'll just make that layer invisible and then wash the scene underneath of it. And whichever take that I like the most, I'll just pull it back to the point that I wanted to keep the footage. So that's pretty straightforward. After I'm done with the editing process and I go through everything, the next thing I work on is the coloring of the actual image or of the video. And you can see that on the color um, tab here. So it actually just made the video a little bigger, made the timeline smaller because I'm done with that. And it just made my color panels a lot larger so I could actually see what I'm doing. And uh, I could walk you guys through that step um, on the later video right now. We're just trying to get through this and give y'all a general understanding of the workflow. So after you're done with coloring and your timeline and um, editing your timeline, you want to go ahead and export your work. Um, so you'll go to file, export media, and this is what I was telling you guys earlier about the uh, media encoder uh, where this comes in handy. So after I'm done um, editing, I could just go ahead and queue it up and then let it render out by itself and work on another project. But if I didn't have that, I would just have to hit export and then wait the 12 minutes and, you know, miss out on 12 minutes of working on another project, making more money or get another project done up to YouTube, social media, whatever the case may be. So, that's that. Um, I hope you guys learned something today. It's been, uh, I think we're coming up on the five minute mark. I try to cram it all in there. Like I said, for future videos, I'm definitely gonna, um, you know, go into a lot more details. Um, if this gets good reviews, a lot of people watch it, things of that nature, then I know that this is the topic I could then go further on. But for now, this wraps up the 5 Minute Friday. Thank you guys for tuning in. Drop a like, subscribe. Peace.
say you need someone by your side. I won't disappoint you and tell you lies.